flying cars and jetpacks and monorails everywhere. And in fact, I was being introduced by John Keister of Almost Live fame uh, at the kickoff of the next 50 celebration. And he said, what happened? We were promised flying cars. You know, we were flying, we were promised jetpacks. Now, now we have a mayor that wants us to ride a bike. What happened? <laughs> You know, the future ain't what it used to be. So what is the city of the future? And I'm falling behind. It's transit. We have a transit master plan that's in the city of the future, right? Shouldn't we build transit for the city? It's broadband. It's broadband. We're trying to squeeze data through lines that were built for cable and TV. So why don't we just build a big, fat data pipe and use TV and, and cable and phone as apps on that data pipe? We have a fiber optic network throughout the entire city. We have dark fiber, we have advertised that dark fiber for sale so that we can partner with the private sector to build fiber optic to the premise. Um, it's mixed use communities. That's kind of a throwback. It used to be, it used to be that everybody wanted to move out to the suburbs. Big home, fast commute in the car. Right? And what was the first thing you did when you were 16? You got a driver's license. It's flipped. We're in the middle of a great demographic inversion. People want to live in town. They want to text. That's what 16-year-olds do now, right? And so people want to live here again, and that's great. So what we have to do is invest in great mixed-use places. It's education. I've been talking about physical infrastructure of the city, but the social infrastructure. It's about education. You have to give people opportunity. We have to train people for jobs that are already in the workforce and help them find their place in the too. And we've launched programs around our families in that level, Pathways to Careers, Career Bridge, in which we can give people that connection to opportunity. It's diversity. We are so fortunate to be a port city, a place where people come from all over the world because we benefit from that diversity. But our challenge is to get over our own prejudices and stereotypes so we can appreciate the fullness that everyone can share with us. It's race and social justice as well. These are elements of a great city. Now, we have to connect people to each other. We have to connect people to opportunities, and government's got a race to catch up to. We have to connect to, that's why we go out to town halls, that's why we do these. This is why we create all these wonderful apps where you can, where we push information out to you, dataseattle.gov, our wind watch, snow watch, rain watch, where's my snow plow. We also have to create interactive apps. Oh, we have GPS on the snow plow. You can see where it is. <laughs> but we're good at pushing info out. We have to figure out how to listen and interact with you. That's the next generation. Here's why it matters, though. I want to talk about this. I'm talking about connecting, and it is a good of it in itself. But we need to connect with each other because it's in the connections that ideas and innovation happen. Think about science. The best ideas are at the edges of the disciplines. Think about music. It's when music combines and recombines. That's what happens in a community when we create places where artists, scientists, entrepreneurs, and diverse people get together. And that fuels our economy. And it's not new economy versus old economy, right? Everybody has to innovate. And it's working. We have the fourth, grass, fourth fastest growing city in the nation. So I want to get back to the world's fair. We can make fun of what they thought the future was, but they got one thing exactly right that we would be the city of the future by focusing on innovation, science, arts, and culture. And we've done that the last 50 years. We were just this little rain-soaked city in the corner of the continent that nobody knew where it was, and 50 years later, everybody knows about us. We have this reputation, and we have this reputation not just for innovation and arts and science and software and coffee. We have a reputation for equal rights. Anybody can marry who they want to. <laughs> Thank you to all of you for everything you do.